realised it was going to stop. Well, it has to stop sometime. It has to stop sometime. Doesn't it? Yes. Doesn't it? It does. It does. Well, hello and welcome here to Anderson's TV. I'm mm. Pete. My name is Joss. So, FR, FR. FR, for, for. For, for, let's talk <laughs> FR, FR cap. So, this is a whole brave new world it of is. Um, using your Helix or your now GT1000 yeah. or your Head Rush or your Kemper and taking that out and using it on every gig. Yep. I mean, from like um, big, small gigs, pardon guard, garden, pardon guardies, pardon, 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 pardon guardies, pardon guardies. <laughs> Uh, garden parties or stadium tours. Yeah. I mean, anywhere in between. And um, I mean, it's it doesn't matter which it is. It's like Helix, and they people are using everything everywhere. The they moment. really are. So it's become really popular uh, with these FIFR caps. Yep. So we've got three here today, which are in the upper price range. Yes. Uh, ranging from about 552 for the uh, line six, uh, which there are two models in that range, yep. all the way up to a thousand pounds or 999 for the um, atomic wedge. Yes. Here, over to the Friedman, which is a little bit under uh, 900 quid. Okay. Um, and there's also two models in this range. Yes. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just play, we're plugged into the Kemper, and whichever one we are using, we will uh, put on the middle here. We might end up with two Neumanns uh, KM184s uh, in the room. And we've got one Aston Spirit microphone over there, and we've got other pedals on. Because it's very difficult. It very, I mean, they're not, as we were speaking, they're, they're, they're not built to be mic'd up. You no. Know? Uh, therefore, as you can see, them being wedges and stuff predominantly, therefore, you know, if you are playing like a massive stadium gig and you're not on in ears, I don't know why you wouldn't be on in ears, but if you're no. not, just for an example, I th yeah, then I th you could have exactly a couple of these so you get your your sound and you can have one you can have two yeah i think a lot of people tend to um if you've got in ears and you're on a bigger stage you might not use these as yeah, much you exactly. might use like a, a base plate where you stand on there's yeah. like a base or wet base wets underneath just to get a bit of the uh that's what i used to have yeah i didn't use use the camper but i would yeah. use an amp but it's, it's a similar situation uh, but all of these as you say are are wedges as well you can yeah. lean all of these back so they can and they, there's little switches we're going to do some little you know yeah there's a little tilt switches i think they're all very simple we put they're all very simple two inputs one input one input on yeah. here uh the line six have got more specs so what we're going to do is we're going to put the specs up on uh once we are playing them yeah so you can see the specs will literally be in the middle because there's lots of specs um but we're going to start with the atomic yeah so just take you through some of the specs will now be shown on screen this is 500 watt by amplifier uh with active crossover it's got two um, unbalanced uh, XLR combo jack, so you can either use you can like use standard jacks guitar in. jacks, yeah. or you can have like two different things in. Um, it's got the full range speaker. It's a near dinium speaker, so it's very light. I mm. think it's just about the same weight yeah. as, as as that. So as the Line Six, one. yeah. You've got all the different uh, switches on the back it's tone shaping. So if you are tilting it, you can click over to like a tilt. You can put yeah. it there. You've got the flat response and all that different stuff. Uh, okay, so let's hear what it sounds like. So. Just because we're using it with a Kemper doesn't mean that, again, you can't use it with a Helix or Anything. a Head Rush yep. or a GT1000 or a keyboard or just as a Wes or just as a studio just play, speaker. Yeah, and play music through it. You can play music through it. You can do anything you want. It's always really difficult uh, to relay speaker in the room. It, right? it really is. So you have to kind of... Um like you guys usually do, hopefully you can just trust our judgment on this one. Um, you're getting the best sort of sound we can possibly create, mixing everything together. Um, but at the end of the day, we are just room micing these. So, you know, um, hopefully, you know, we can put it across and we'll tell you exactly what we think about them. Yeah, and the print, we've got a Princeton profile here and the clean tone is like so. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, you know, I think it sounds good for the room. It's, yeah. Uh, and I hope, hopefully, that comes across. Uh, let's try to just put a little. Uh, That sounds good. There's nothing wrong great. with that. It's no, no, really no, difficult. No. Again, it's difficult to relay because you are not hearing what we're hearing. We're no. trying to make you hear what we are hearing. Yep. But as uh, mentioned, it is not very easy. I mean, that's basically. Do you want to do some humbuckies? Yeah, yeah, just see what it sounds like. on it just to see what it does. We got the switching from from down here. So that's the that's the Princeton clean, but obviously because I got some humbuckies. <laughs> Them with a bit of ganj, mm -hmm. bit of drive. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, I was just. Uh, You're just controlling like... it, sir. It's really. <laughs> Ooh. It sounds good. Yeah, it sounds really good. I think good. it sounds really good. What we're going to do at the end, uh, we're going to cut that together, uh, three bits of the playing in, in what do you call it, in succession. Yeah, in succession. So you yeah. won't hear any talk between, so you can make your own decision of which one sounds best. Yes. That would be the last bit that goes in this video. But I think, I mean, all the specs, as we said, are on the screen. We're running this uh, flat. So that's it. So you can, you know, you can EQ via EQ the actual amp, via the uh, the thing you're using, yep. whether it be a keyboard or whatever. And that's it, really. So we move on to number two. Two. Number two. Let's go for the power cap 112 from line six. Cool. <laughs> So, uh, so now we are plugged into the uh, Power Cab 112. Yep. So they make two, they make the plus one as well. Now these yes. are really clever. If you do have the Helix, these are perfect for the Helix. Yeah, they really are. Uh, because it's not just, you know, it's not just plug in. You've actually got on the back of it, you've got, um, you've got six speaker emulations you can tap through. Right yeah. now we're on the white one, which is the flat. Yeah. Just to keep everything. Keep everything neutral ground. Yeah. Yeah. So I think what we will do at some point is we will get my Helix out yeah. and we will do a video where we plug the Helix in because That's you, good can, idea. you can actually put in 128 uh, IR response in this cab. So your own ones. So you can make your make it your own. So you can take you know your own ones if you made them yourself. Yeah. Uh, you can take some of the ones for beer use. Is that yeah, nollies? Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, you, know, you, can, stuff, you can stick yeah. them in there. Which means that you you can it's much more customizable. Yeah. If you will. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is also very light. It's also got a 12-inch speaker. Um, it's a lightweight cone, so I can imagine it's like a high, it's a hybrid sort of speaker. Sure. You know, to get all of the, you know, all of the, all of the same sort of responses everywhere. But again, we're going to put the spec as we're talking now. We're putting the the specs up, uh, and I think also you can you can control some of it. I'm not sure if this this one or the plus one where you can control it via the. Um, 
the board, so you've got right. different cabinets. Yeah, and you for can different apps. Yeah, I think I think that's the next one up. You can I think plug that's just in. Really, really cool that you can load your own, your own impulse responses and then have them play out here anyway. I yeah, and you really use cool. the cabs and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and yeah. every time you change the pads on the Helix, for instance, it will change. You know, so that this yeah. might be one for you if you've got a Helix. There might be a clever one for you to use, but we yep. will do a video on that at some point. Uh, so you heard the same loop. It's the same loop as we've had. It's the same loop that we used in the beginning. We recorded that earlier. It was one I made earlier. Here's one um, I made earlier. It's, it's, really, really, it's really, really cool, this cabinet. It's really lightweight. Yeah. Uh, I think it looks cool. I think it looks really nice, uh, really it's sleek. Got the, it's got the tilt. It has uh, it's got two legs at the back that you can pull out. Yeah, it looks much more like a guitar cab. That's the thing. It looks much more like mm. a guitar cab. Um, which, I, which I'm digging. I like that, yeah, yeah. I'm into it. Uh, you know, if that's what you're looking for. So, 250 watts, so a little bit less than the other one. Yeah. Uh, but again, the price reflects that. It's it does, just yeah, yeah. about shy of 600 quid. Just under, yeah, it's 552 five, or 522. 552, yeah. five, I think. Yeah, which is good. I yeah. mean, it depends on what you want. I mean, I mean, again, the thing with the Atomic, the Atomic is like, um, the Atomic is like a... Uh, where the Line 6 is very, it's not, as we can see, you've got a Kemper going into the Line 6, right? Yeah. It's not like a specific thing for the Line 6, but it just lends its hand to being a lot more compatible, like all their stuff. Like yeah, all the, the Variax goes into the thing, into the thing, into the thing, like yeah. Apple. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take over the world. Yeah. And then um, this is like um, the big daddy of it all. Yeah. You can, you can plug whatever sort of digital modeling device into this yeah, and, and it's just going to sound everything. yeah and, and it's going to sound rad you got two inputs on that one you only got one on this exactly. one as well yeah, which, yeah, yeah. which means that you're kind of a little bit limited to yeah. just the one thing just the right? one thing yeah um, where you can plug your Helix Kemper or whatever into this yeah. and a microphone as well if you exactly. want an acoustic guitar or yeah. whatever uh, so that you know plus it's got um, it's got the so you can put it on a stand yep and this one, I'm not yeah, exactly. sure if this one does. You can't does. with these ones, yeah. This, this one, one does. This one does, yeah. yeah. It does, does. But yeah, so this one is like, you can mount it like a PA. And just just for, like mine, I was naive at the beginning, I had to ask the question, just to let you know, even though this is a ke uh, powered Kemper, these are powered speakers, so you don't have to have a power amp. Exactly. There's another thing. So if you do buy a Kemper or something where there is no power amp in yep. it, these are great. Yeah. Because you know, you can, this is a power Kemper. Mm-hmm. But we're not using that right we're now. We're not using the power. We're not, we not using it to a cab. It's very handy to have. So yeah. you can use a guitar cab with it as well. But that's not what we're doing now. Exactly. This is a so different thing. So just to let you know. Yeah. Because that might save you a few quid as well. Because a few um, stuff without... Um, Stuff without power amps, like the uh, the power amp version of the Kemper is a lot more money than the one without exactly. the power amp. So. And this is what it sounds like. I'm going to try to play the same thing as it did so we can cut it all back in the beginning. I can't remember. In the end. No. In the beginning, in the end. This is what it sounds like. Here's some overdrive. For much, yeah, yeah, for yeah, you know? for, yeah. It's, There's um, it, I feel as if it's a little bit, little bit more like muffled, a little bit more dark. It's a little bit more dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah you would probably have to go a little bit treble on there. You saw I reached for the for the back pickup there. Probably better like yeah, that. Yeah. Even if the clean tone is probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's best. Yeah, more yeah. like it. Yeah, you definitely. Tweak a little bit. You yeah. know, that's a, that's a nice tone there. Let's I try mean, some uh, some humbuggers. Clean. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
there's um there's I, I feel as if I feel as if that is a very very good representation of what the Kemper is showing me or yeah. displaying. Yeah. But there was something about the the atomic that was just a lot more. I don't know, like inspiring. I guess it just. Uh, I don't know because of the flat response thing, and um, I don't know how. This to is running flat it. as well. We're yeah, running this flat yeah, as well. everything's running flat. I just feel as if it was just brighter and more clarity. Yeah, from from without doing anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think, um, but it's always tweaking, isn't it? You have yeah, to kind exactly. of tweak stuff. Uh, again, it's one of the things that is very difficult to put across it is, in yeah. videos with yeah. speakers. That's why you really don't see a lot of any YouTubers do videos on speakers. I mean, how do you do it? Because it's really difficult. Yeah, like how do you do it? Yeah. You, can't, you, you can't get the, the, all the, the, you know, the compression and the impedance, all of the, and yeah, the yeah. dynamic range and, the blah, 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 and all the low end and all that stuff. It's really difficult to get through in rooms. Mm. So you kind of have to trust where you're coming from. I think I prefer the, the, that right now. Yeah. Um, again, you know, then you, you go, it's almost double the price. Yeah. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but more flexibility in that one. I think that's what so it is, yeah. I think that's the line six. I yeah. like it. It's good. It's I, good. I like the fact that it looks like it does. It looks cool. Yeah, as the more affordable model out of the three, yeah. um, I think it's a it's a good choice. Yeah. Yeah. And it fits really well on top of that with the Kemper as yeah, well. It's nice and small. Which is uh, lovely. Okay, let's move on to the uh, Friedman, Friedman ASM12. Friedman, which is definitely the heaviest one of the bunch here. It really is. It the is fried man. It's a bird eye, so it's pretty. It's pretty intense. And also inside, uh, which uh, we can take this off, so you can turn this around as well. Is some pretty substantial speakers in there, mm. where on the atomic is like a, 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 like a speaker, a, and then yeah. it's got a speaker inside the yeah, speaker, yeah. neodymium. This is like celestian powered and really thick. Uh, really bird eye, bird. which makes it yeah. really quite heavy. Um, it's about 879 quid. This is the 12. They yep. do a 10 inch as well. Uh, all the specs are at, at the moment on the screen. Uh, it's got one input and an output. It doesn't have very much in the back. It's got a low no. cot, and that's really basically it. It's yep. quite quite simple. It's got um, rails to put it on here, rails to put it on there. You can tilt it up, and um, I mean that is that's that's kind of that's kind of it with that. Um, let's just stick this back in. There we go. We'll put it in properly in a minute. Uh, it just comes out. It's got little Velcros on it. It looks cool. It looks rad. Yeah, yeah. It looks really cool. Uh, for an FNR, FR, FR cap, I'm looking for something light. Yeah. Something portable. Yeah. Something that can do more than, than one thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't think, personally, this is for me. I mean, um, I sound wise as well, for me, it's not um, my personal favorite. Um, and it was more fizzy. It is, uh, there is more fizziness. This is the clean tone. I don't mind that actually. Thank you. 
It's okay. Yeah. It's all right. It sounds just to clean very good. Let's try some drive. <laughs> Let me just try one thing. Okay, so I just tried to do the, uh, there's, a, there's a ground lift on the back. Okay. I thought that might help with the single coil hum, but it doesn't seem to do that. No, so let me when just you're try adding some drive. So I one more thing. So I just tried the ground lift on the Kemp as well. And again, there's, there's kind of noise with yeah. that, which there wasn't with the other two caps. Yeah. I don't know why that is. No. Nope. Um, but anyway, but this is just, a, it's, it's all, Proper sturdy construction. It is, yeah. Made in America by Friedman. Power people. Uh, let's just go to the humbugger and see if it's any less noise. You start with the drive on. Yeah, there is yeah. a there is a noise gate on there here as well. There is a gate, isn't yeah, there? Yeah. You can hear the gate kick in. But I mean, we shouldn't be faffing around with this because we should just leave it exactly like it was before. So let's hear the clean sounds from that. Sweaty hands, I can't pull up the what, knob. What are you <laughs> what are you searching for there? Less space. I was just trying to trying to create a little bit more clarity because with the humbucker engaged on the neck it's too woolly. It's yeah, too Absolutely. Too... And this I've is the humbucker. Dialed, again. I've, yeah, I've dialed a lot of the bass off here now. And then just with a bit of drive, I want to see what the neck pickup will do. I guess it's as good as the others, but you just have to do a little bit more EQing. I I don't. This is not my favorite one. Definitely not my. We are being honest favorite. here. Yes, yeah, definitely in the room, not my personal. It favorite. might sound different than. Yeah, in I don't speakers. know how it's recorded. It's not my favorite one. It's too heavy for me as well. As I said, it's I want too something heavy, really light. Um, and there's just a uh, there's a, a muffliness to it that I don't want. Yeah, it might work better with other. Um, with other patches, yeah, but we yeah, have to yeah. be we have to be fair and honest yeah. uh, to the others. So we use the same patch, same patch, uh, same guitars, same guitars. Yeah. Um, so I mean, again, come in and try them out. Yeah, you of might course. have a helix. That's the thing. We've got the helix. We've got the G two one thousand. We've got the head brush. These things can be tried in the store. Mm -hmm. So if you come in and go, hey, dudes, I would like to try this with that because I saw that video Joss and Pete did and uh, it didn't sound anything like I think it was going to sound. Yeah, uh, you might prefer. Yeah, give it one. a go yourself. You, um, know? you know, but yeah. So I don't know what else there is to say. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I think all in all, what was your personal favorite one out of the three? It's a tie between the um, the line six and the and the uh, atomic. Yeah, I think. I mean, overall, if I if I had something I would use for more than just a guitar cap, I would go for the atomic. Yeah. Uh, if 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 I you know if I had a thousand pounds, I've got a budget of a thousand pounds. Yeah. I would go for that because I can use it on other things as well. Right? Um, yeah. You get a little bit limp. This is more, it's more dedicated yeah. to the line six yeah. thing, uh, or you know, you can use the other things as well. Don't you know? Don't pigeonhole it to a, a line six no. thing. It's nice and light, um, but it's got limitations. Yeah. In as, as, as much as you can't sort of just. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, I know what you mean. but but then again, it's really cool that you can put in 
your own IRs, IRs in there, yeah, yeah. which is great. Yeah, and it works cool really well with the Helix. But then I would go the next step up and get the Plus version of this yeah. to then go with my Helix. Yeah. Then I think it might work really well for that. So if you have a Helix already, then that might be the way to go. Yeah. But if you've got other things and you want to use it for other things, if you want to use it in the studio, you know, at, at, at studio monitors or whatever, I think that probably be the one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in terms of in terms of all all over diversity and sound, I'd go for the Atomic. Um, in terms of look, uh, diversity of sound and just all, all the other sort of attributes that I'm not taking into consideration with the look of this one, yeah. I'd go for the Line Six. Yes. And I just wouldn't go for the Friedman due to the size and weight. It's 52 pounds. It's just too, for something that's <laughs> supposed to be for um, a uh, sort of a get up and go situation with this being your rig and maybe the footboard to control yeah. it, it's just too you might as well You might as well get a two but a 12 yeah, a two head 12 and a cab. Yeah, a 212 and a power. Yeah, and or head a head in a cab. cab. And then yeah. you know, you're know you in the same sort of situation. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah. Absolutely. Well, there we are. Yeah, there's a little line six thing. Excellent. Good job. That's really cool as well. I don't know. What we're going to do now, anyway, we're going to say goodbye. Yes. And then um, links, of course, are below. Have yep. you got anything? What, what are you? What? No, what I was going to say, are you going to, so are you going to, what, what are you going to do? Just play the loop through? I might, I might hey, maybe we'll do another loop, a bit more atmosp yeah. atmospheric loop. Yeah. And, then... and uh, I'll just build a loop and we'll, we'll literally just uh, change them out as we go along. Mm -hmm. And um, all you're going to hear is just um, us sitting here looking at it while it plays basically <laughs> yeah 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 we'll probably play on top of it so we do like we have a little jam again yeah we can it, do and that then, uh, yeah yeah, yeah cool. okay cool well thank you very much for watching links are below please subscribe hit that bell that uh, notification bell yep and uh he's looking down there going is there a bell on is the there floor, a bell on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> so there we go happy i'm happy i'm happy so um enjoy this little bit of a uh, new loop playing out which is the same coming from the camper same princeton preset you're just gonna hear all the um Cabs played uh, again and uh, comment. Yeah, definitely. See you next time. In a bit. Subscribe. Cheers.
everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.